$20,000 is about to be won. And what we're looking to right here in the qualifying round with Todd Steinbeck and an 85 score. Now this happened on a Saturday afternoon. It's a two-day event. This kid showed up to get some money, $5,000 just for fun to get him warmed up, and he did it. 85 is the big bucks. When we looked to Curtis Jesse, they said, run one under me. They did. And run a little too much. Lloyd Ketchum and Dwayne Hargo were there to make the save, and Curtis went to the turf. The same for Wally Terry. One and a half rounds, and a big Brayford Bull spanked his shorts right down around his ankles. As of now, it's two for the Bulls and one for the Cowboys. The all-time great Bobby Del Vecchio, the Italian stallion from New York City, now makes his home in Arizona. 36 years old after a year off, he is making a comeback like nobody ever before. If there is an Arnold Palmer in the Bull Riders Only Tour, you're looking at him. The kissing Italian cowboy from New York has not lost it. He's regained it all and come back to show him how. But little Mike Mason said, I want a bid for it as well. As the bull starts around to the right, it elongates his body. Rip City, and to the ground he goes. No money to be won. Del Vecchio and Steinbeck at this time are the only two qualifiers. Now, we've got Michael Gaffney thinking about it, the G-man from Lubbock, Texas. What are you going to have to do to stay in position? Well, Glenn Keeley says, I can do it. Hard way out of there. This only happened moments ago. Now, what can we do again? Around and around we go. The faster you go, the better it is. The sweet spot position of where he rides is in there. Del Vecchio on a second day try is there. That's the third bull he's rode in 24 hours. This is the all-time great world champion, Ted News from California, Modesto's finest. From the central part of the San Joaquin Valley, he makes his bid for the final round. One of the top 18 to get his second one on a Sunday. Irvin Williams is the Tulsa Twister. From the Sooner State of Oklahoma, he reached for the tail to pull himself loose after eight to qualify. Jerome Davis, the National Intercollegiate Champion, the Georgia boy from North Carolina. No matter where you say he's from, he's a Southern gentleman with 800 pounds of tie. Hang and rattle for the last two jumps just to make the whistle. Curtis Jesse, now we got one rank to buck. This black bull started strong, not that much drop or hop. But here, with the right and the left, back to the right and the left again, he bails out of there for a high mark just to keep him happy of 79. 